Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Blossomed in Bourbon. My name is Mark. I'm the owner here at Creative Occasions. Welcome to my workroom. Um, you know, as is the custom with our episodes here, we do a look into flowers and into bourbon. And if you'd really like to support us in what we do, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe to the videos. Be sure and hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified when we have new content. Um, we're gonna get going with this very nice pour that's called Fiddler. Um, Fiddler Georgia Hardwood, uh, Hartwood actually is the name. And um, I have my friend Michael to thank for this. Michael, thank you for putting me onto this. Um, in full disclosure, I have tasted Hartwood, uh, the Fiddler before, and it's very good. Um, it's from the ASW Distillery in Atlanta, Georgia. There is no age statement about this. Um, funny thing, part of the reason it got its name Fiddler was because they take a distilled bourbon and they fiddle with it. And so what they did with this one is it is finished with these Georgia white oak charred barrel staves that are put back in the barrels with um, the, the bourbon for another finishing. So uh, it's got great color. It's a very rich, beautiful copper color. Just love that. Yeah, this is a high wheat bourbon. So it has 51% uh, corn, 45% wheat, and 4% malted barley. So um, it is, however, a high proof. So it's 117 proof. So you might think it would be a little bit hot. Um, in the first taste, it's just a bit hot, but boy, the wheat in this just makes it really nice and smooth. So we're gonna be sipping on that while we work on some flowers. Um, you remember in the last video, we talked about <clears throat> the Facebook and the Instagram polls. Again, thank you guys for participating in that. This was the second runner up in the Facebook poll. I mentioned then that I really wanted to do something fun and um, interesting in this vase because I just like the shape of it so much. I think it lends itself to a really unusual design. So we're gonna do a column arrangement in this fairly narrow necked uh, container. And part of what's gonna be the structure and the mechanic is this bundle of birch branches. Um, they came in pretty tight, so I've just pulled them apart, put a little space in there. Um, I measured the height earlier so that I could be sure that it's not too tall, it's not gonna look like it's gonna topple over. Um, and reminding you that the rule of thumb for the height of an arrangement is at least one and a half times the height of the container. So one and a half times, we're well at that level and beyond. So anyway, uh, this is gonna be cool and I'm, I'm excited about it. I did have a plan for, and I'm going to put kind of a decorative wire element in this. And this is what I've prepped, uh, which is the wire. It's the silver um, Oasis aluminum wire. This is a little bit finer gauge. It's not the uh, bullion, but it is a little bit finer gauge. And I have these pieces of dyed or colored sea glass. And this is a canister that happens to be all in sort of a purple shade. And it's very easy to make a chain like this. I'll show you real quickly how to do it. Leave a little lead at the end. You've got this kind of irregular shape with the sea glass. We're just gonna wrap it around two or three times and then twist it with the two pieces together. Pretty tight because we don't want this uh, piece of sea glass slipping out. And there you got, it's just nice and secure in there. So then I would move down a little bit add another piece of sea glass, wrap it into the wire, and continue with that until you have this strand of these little pieces. That are, they almost look like beads. And I think that's what I like about this so much is it looks like jewelry. The flower that's going in this arrangement are these beautiful purple iris. So because the iris tend to be a little more delicate, I was concerned that if I put the wire on after the flowers are in the arrangement, that the wire might damage the bloom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this in first, just literally gonna tie the wire around to the top of one of these branches. And then we're just gonna kinda let it meander along through the branches. <clears throat> Pull that one out a little bit. And this is part of what will help 
to keep this birch bundle in place <clears throat> and from getting too you know wide on us we don't want it to be wide we want to keep this column shape so that's important here then we get to the bottom we're just going to feed it through the birch and again kind of tie it on itself so it stays in place and now we have this nice pretty accent to the birch it adds a little bit of color of course a little bit of sparkle with the silver of the wire and um, i think that's going to be a really nice accent with the purple um, iris so we're going to add the iris one at a time and probably just kind of work down and through the birch branches different heights there's nothing that's binding the birch at the bottom so i just kind of have to see my way through to get down into the water with this obviously there's a bit of a challenge with that all right there we go i am going to cut this next one so that i can save this little bit of stem with the um, leaves on it And I'm going to use that as well. I kind of want the iris to visually move your eye from the top of the arrangement, kind of in a spiral coming down and around. So that's kind of the plan. Did you catch that? I just moved those branches apart, stuck that bloom in there so it stays in place. And I'm probably not gonna need more than really about five of these blooms. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this one, at least too short for right there. And let's do one more in the back. I'm just about done, Jason. I told you it's going to be fast. I'm getting better at gauging the uh, quickness of the arrangement. These birch branches, this bundle or this kind of loose grouping of birch branches, almost are acting like a Kenzan, like you would use in um, Asian floral design with an Ikebana style, um, because there's a bundle of like sticks that you're using as the mechanic to hold the floral material in place. Um, so that really is the finished arrangement as I had it planned. I, I personally love it. I think it's very simple. It's very linear. It's got that column shape that we were going for. A little bit of almost like jewelry that we've added to the arrangement with the silver wire and uh, the sea glass. Um, the blue and the purple in the flowers, my intention was to pull off the blue of the, of the vase. So there would be some connection to the vase. And again, because this shape is so unusual, I wanted to keep this really, really simple up top. Um, let's just have another sip of this while we're at it. Yeah, there's a nice bit of uh, cinnamon, a little bit of sort of a toffee um, on the nose. Cheers, sir. Yeah, and definitely, a little bit of an orange flavor maybe in it. Again, the caramel, uh, it's just a really nice uh, sipping whiskey. It's just um, a very smooth, even though it is high proof, uh, the wheat makes it uh, a little bit smoother and, and really awesome. So Michael, again, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's gonna be one of my favorites, I'm sure. Um, I understand it may be a little bit hard to find in our local area that uh, it's based in Georgia in a distillery in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, but anyway, go find it. Go ye forth and find this because it's good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this column arrangement um, and me kind of uh, featuring the new container that I got. Um, it's been so much fun. Again, please remember to like and subscribe to the video. We'll be back again soon with uh, some more fun with flowers and bourbon. And until then, cheers to you and to flowers every day. Thanks for joining.